Hey guys, Taylor here. And yes, it is finally here. My first fun non-autism related video. And I couldn't think of a better video to start off the fun videos with than this one. I've been wanting to do this video for a while ever since I've started the YouTube channel, but also ever since the first time I actually saw it on YouTube. I'm talking, of course my friends, about the power of makeup video. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about these videos by now, but if you haven't, go look them up. They've been floating around YouTube for a while now. And basically, they're just videos where one half of your face is bare, and then the other half of the face is completely glammed with makeup. The two reasons why I love wearing makeup are pretty much relatable to you guys. Now, the first reason, at the tender age that I am, aka 20, I like wearing makeup because it covers my dark circles, it covers my acne, it covers my freckles, my imperfections, except for my beauty mark. This is a beauty mark and now I'm going to wear my beauty mark proudly. And the second reason why I love wearing makeup is because with makeup, the possibilities are endless. There's a lot you can do with makeup. Honestly, I don't get why people are saying that wearing makeup is such a bad thing. My opinion is, if you want to wear makeup, go ahead and wear it. If you don't want to wear makeup, you don't have to wear it. But if you want to wear it, wear it if you want to. That's, that's my whole stance on that. So to prove my point, I'm actually going to do this video. The video that inspired me to do this video is actually the original video of The Power of Makeup, which is done by one of my favorite makeup people here on YouTube, Nikki Tutorials. If you guys haven't already seen the original video, I'll go ahead and put a link down below so you guys can check it out. And I'm also going to put a link down below to our channel so you guys can go ahead and give her a subscribe. And so now, without further ado, let's get started. I do have my makeup in front of me. Some of it is drugstore brand, but 80% of the majority of it will be coming from my new ready to wear New York makeup kit and it looks a little used because I've actually been using this over the past few days and I absolutely love it. It has your bare essentials, your lip gloss, your eyeshadow, your contour browser and your contour powder finish. It has your blush. It has it even has your eyeliner and line eraser. It has all the stuff you need plus it has brushes included. Before we go any further, let me before we go any further, I just want to say that I'm not in any way, shape, or form affiliated with these products. I am not being paid to mention these products. I'm not being paid to use these products. I'm using these products because I love these products so much and I feel like they work the best for me. Okay, so first thing I want to make sure I do, I want to get my glasses, my hair, and my bangs completely out of the way. So as I would normally do when I put on makeup, I'm going to put, take my glasses off and put them off to the side. And voila! Now I'm going to pull my hair back. I'm going to use a few hair ties that you could basically get anywhere. And I'm going to put my hair into a ponytail. It was originally in a bun, but honestly, ponytails are more easier for me to control. And now as far as these bangs are concerned, there are one of two things you can do. You can do the basic hairband trick, which is where you take the hairband, put them underneath your bangs, pull the hairband up, flatten out the top, and there you go. But the thing I've been doing most recently is the bobby pin trick, which is where you take two bobby pins and split off your bangs in two different sections between the middle hairline. And I'm going to pull one half of the bangs, but I'm going to keep one half of the bangs unpinned because I want this side to be glam, this side to be all natural, and I love wearing my bangs. So I'm going to take the middle section of my bangs, and I'm going to bobby pin them up as well. Flatten it out, and voila! Now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Clean Oil Control Liquid Foundation in the shade of Classic Ivory, which is kind of similar to my natural skin tone. And this is a makeup pack in a way. You're going to take a Q-tip, dip it in some foundation, and starting with your middle hairline, you're going to go down the middle of your face so that you know what separates the glam and what separates the not glam. Now I'm just going to take my foundation, I'm just going to apply it all over the side of the face where I want it to be all glammed. I am a light skinned person and if I start to slur a lot in my video in this and start messing up on a few parts, I apologize this is my first time doing this. And also if you hear a lot of background noise, I don't know how to mute all the back noise. I don't know how to mute out all the background noise out and again I apologize for that. This is my first time doing anything remotely like this. So now that my skin is full of foundation, we're going to go ahead and powder it so that it sets. I'm going to go ahead and use my ready-to-wear New York makeup kit. 
I'm going to take my contour finish powder and, you know, I'm just going to powder it all over my face. And I honestly love the shade that they put in this kit because it honestly almost resembles my actual skin tone. You want to make sure that you apply this powder all over your forehead, all over your eyelid, all over your nose, on your cheeks, your lips, and don't get it, don't poke yourself with the bristles of the brush like I just did. Then you just want to apply that until everything is evenly, until everything is evenly powdered in. Now I'm going to take the browser of this contour part of the makeup kit. Now I'm just going to start contouring. This is my first time contouring, so please don't judge me. I'm going to contour my cheekbone. Then I'm going to go down with my chin, up to my chin bone. Go underneath the chin to give it more definition. Then I'm going to go ahead and powder it all around the temple to make sure that the center of my forehead grasps the attention. And I don't know if a lot of you do this. I know I have certainly started to do this, but I'm starting to go in on the side of my nose to make my nose appear a little bit more smaller. Now I'm going to go in with my blush. I'm going to use the tone Sunset, which is a kind of a natural blush tone I like. So I smile while I do this. I'm going to apply the blush on the cheek. Now it is time to do the eyebrows. I love doing my eyebrows and I'm going to use this Avon eye brow liner or eyeliner. I'm not sure which one. It's in the shade of Bay. Yes, it actually exists. <laughs> and I'm just going to use that to outline my eyebrow. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the eyeshadow in Forest Suede and I'm going to use a Q-tip and I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. So now we are about halfway done with this. Now that's left to do, and now we need to do the eyelid. So I'm going to go ahead and use my eye shadow brush and I'm going to use the bronze corduroy color and I'm just going to apply that on top of my eyelid and then in the inner crease and then in the outer crease. I have watched my mom do this for years when she would put on makeup and I honestly think it looks so pretty and really 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 amazing. Now I'm going to take my favorite eyeshadow shade in this kit, Ivory Charmeuse and put that all over my eyelid. I honestly love this shade with a passion. I love how it shimmers. I love how it's a little bit white. And it reminds me of New Year's Eve or holidays or something. Now I'm going to take the shade of Blush Velvet and I'm going to apply that on the outer corner of my eye to kind of create a smoky eye effect. Now that we're done with the eyeshadow, it's time to apply the eyeliner. I'm going to use my ready to wear gel black eyeliner and with my angled brush I'm going to go ahead put some eyeliner on it and I'm warning you guys this took forever and an eternity to put on. It took me about three minutes to put this on as a whole but I sped it up because I don't think you guys would want to watch me for three solid minutes putting on eyeliner when I could show you guys something else so I kind of chopped it down a little bit so you guys won't have to sit there for three whole minutes watching me put this eyeliner on. Gel eyeliner would probably have to be one of my new favorite eyeliner and makeup type tools next to contour because I've been using a pencil but I honestly love how the gel comes out, how it kind of stays in place and how it is a little bit difficult to wash off but that makes it stay longer and I actually love the gel eyeliner I think better than the pencil honestly. So I'm just going to go ahead and smooth it out. I'm going to get it under my eyelid. Don't poke yourself with it because I'm guilty of doing that. I poked myself in the eye with eyeliner brush and it does not feel good at all. <laughs> so then I'm going to create a cat eye because I'm crazy about cat eyes. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing on the waterline. I'm going to go ahead and apply the eyeliner on the bottom lash line. And now that's all done. And now I'm going to do the mascara. I'm going to use Remiel Scandal Eyes Mascara. This is what I use all the time. It gives you the effect of false eyelashes when you don't have any false eyelashes. And I'm being that serious. You're going to get that all over the top of the eyelashes and the bottom lashes. Now last but not least, we're doing the lips. I'm going to take the Coral Ice 
Lip gloss that came with the kit. I absolutely love this shade of lip gloss. It's one of my favorites. And you're, I'm just gonna apply, and I'm just gonna apply that to my lip. And I'm gonna smack my lips together to make sure it stays. And so there's the before, and here's the after. I absolutely had so much fun doing this, and it looks really, really, really cool. It's amazing what the power of makeup can do. It kind of almost looks like a magic trick. It is amazing. All right, guys, that's it for this week's video. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you guys liked it. I know I liked it. I had so much fun filming this and so much fun doing this for you guys. Also, in the comments below, tell me what types of videos I should make next, and or you guys can tell me why you guys love wearing makeup. Do you like wearing it because you like playing around with it and come up with endless possibilities with it and recreate some of your favorite makeup looks? Or do you like wearing it because it covers your imperfections and makes you feel a little bit more confident? I'm the type of girl who loves makeup for both reasons. So go ahead and tell me in the comments below. And finally, as always, if you guys love this video and want to see more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Well guys, that's it for this week. Until next time, bye bye.